Hello, I am out running many, many errands and going to many, many places and you're coming along. Uh, first stop is the bank, so you don't really need to come along to that, but after that, uh, hopefully to go pick up the lumber uh, from my friend's house for the boarded up windows. And after that, probably my friend's shop, uh, Anime Fix, because I think he has a few things for me. Uh, that came out while I was on tour, so it's an adventure! Whee! Alright, I'm over at my friend Josh's house, Josh and Jen's house, which you've seen many times, and I'm getting the lumber. Uh, some three or four foot pieces, a bunch of like scraps, and some uh, binding pieces, some of this, like little thinner planks, and then. We got some, uh, Jesus Christ, at the low garage door, I almost decapitated myself. And then uh, some longer pieces and some other scraps, so. Thank you, Josh! It's so nice of you. Okay, I am at uh, my friend's uh, anime shop, Anime Fix, I've shown you guys before. And picking up a couple things. Gonna grab a little Persona 4 Kuma figurine and a uh, Studio Ghibli anime that came out well, it was in theaters a while back and I never got to see it and uh, Arietti um, been looking forward to seeing that I didn't really like the last one too much what was the name of the last? Anya? No, it came out after that the Tales of Ursi? Yeah, that one Tales of Ursi kind of blew a little bit the story was just all over the place but anyways, if for some reason you've never seen this shop uh, in one of my videos it's all anime and comic book and video game figurines and tons of uh, DVDs and manga and shit. Bunch of shit and crap. Where's your doggy? He's back here taking a nap. I know how to I know how to get him, hold on. He has a he's got a little puppy he found not too long ago. And he comes from the door. The door opens. Let's see. No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> screw that. He's being. A, he come every other time the door opens, and now he's like, mm -hmm. "Where is he?" He's over on the chest. There he is. Hi. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. Next stop after this, I think, is Michael's or somewhere. Anyways. Hey. Uh, hey. Just went and picked up a couple games from. Uh, GameStop I had on pre-order, RPG, Record of Agoras War 2, and uh, Pikmin 2 on the Wii, and then I got Katie a birthday present, which I can't show, because she'll watch this and see it, and that'll ruin it, and that's no fun. Um, and then the other thing, as I went by Yankee Candle, and uh, asked about the Halloween stuff and when it's going to be coming out, and they gave me a flyer. It starts um, August 4th, it's like 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, so if anyone is interested in scented Halloween scented candles and kind of more cutesy Halloween shit, um, Yankee Candle, August 4th, 10 a.m., I'm going to go get, uh, they have a witch's brew, which is basically patchouli scented candles, but I normally just buy the little votives, but this year I'm going to buy some photos and some larger ones too because it's going to be a part of that ritual scene to kind of make it a little bit bigger um, and then some for the graveyard as well but I'll probably just buy all patchouli this year unless they get another cool like kind of darker scent. I smell, smelled the pumpkin one it's very very sweet the pumpkin harvest uh, they already have that in the for fall stuff but uh, I'm not going to end up buying any of those so it'll probably just be a bunch of stinky patchouli. Uh, which my parents love when their house smells like stinky patchouli candles. Hey, I got my uh, flash cracker in the mail today, and um, a lot of you probably already know what these are and what they do. They make a loud popping sound and uh, sparks come out the end. Um, here, I'll show you what it does real quick. Here, I'll stick it right real close so you can see it. It'll be really loud. Ready? Here we go. Ah! Oh, wait. It doesn't work. <laughs> I, uh, I plugged it in and tested it out and it worked you know right away I turned the switch off turned it back on nothing uh, screwed around with it a little bit you know try a different outlet 
shook the cable around a little bit. It didn't come back on. A few minutes later, I tried it and it went pop, 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 like real quick and shut off. And that was it. That was uh, all it did. Um, now, I, uh, I wrote an email to Fried Props. I'm definitely not dissing them or anything. I mean, it's fucking technology and it's a piece of you know, electronic that can have issues. So um, I checked their website for, you know, like uh, troubleshooting and stuff and readjusting the little uh, prongs on the inside. Unfortunately, I think mine is completely fried because it won't do anything. Um, I tried adjusting the prongs different directions, farther apart, closer apart. It won't, it won't even make one little pop. So uh, whatever happened, it's, it's not working. So hopefully it'll be no big deal and I'll be able to just, you know, get another one sent to me. Cool thing is, though, I did find out that Fright Props is located in Clearwater, Florida. And I live in St. Pete. And that's only about a uh, 15 to 20 minute car ride difference. So um, I got the, they sent the catalog for 2012. And then uh, I noticed, I didn't even notice when I bought the item that it's it ships from Clearwater. So I'm possibly, hopefully they'll let me just come down. It says you can make appointments to come down uh, and uh, pick up items or do whatever from the shop or the uh, warehouse itself. So maybe they'll let me go down and exchange in person my fright, uh, my fright cracker, my um, flash cracker, um, and maybe they'll let me, you know, take a little tour. That would be kind of cool. Um, hey, I'm giving you guys a, a plug. Fright props. Go check them out. Do not, <laughs> do not use this uh, defective item as a deterrent to go check them out. They do have a really cool catalog. Um, lots of cool shit inside. Um, but yeah, so hopefully a little bummed that it's, it's not working and having issues, but whatever. Um, I'm sure it'll all be okay. All right, guys, it's, uh, three o'clock in the morning and I'm over at my parents and I'm unloading all that, uh, wood and lumber and, uh, materials that my friend gave me. Um, I planned on coming over here a lot earlier, uh, but I didn't, <laughs> so I'm doing it at night. Um, but, uh, I, there was a couple other things he gave me, uh, that I didn't show when I was there, because after I was done filming, he found a bunch more stuff, so I'll show you that real quick, and maybe show you real quick the idea of what I was going to do with it, but, um, and sorry, it's obviously dark, I'm going by street lights. He gave me, uh, a bunch of this metal that, uh, he used as a roofing for the project he was working on and then some chicken wire these really large pieces that I can cut into different shapes and strips for boarded up uh, off the board up window and then I can't remember if I showed you the boxes of of some of the wood he gave yeah I know I showed that but anyways um, those pieces of metal uh, I was thinking of cutting some holes in them like just a few gnarly shaped holes and putting them as sort of like a a roof like bear with me not not a roof but just as covering overhead um, along this pathway that's going to be back through here so there would be like one piece uh, over top of this area and then there would be that fallen box archway between those trees and then maybe another piece just beyond that Obviously, they're not really big pieces. They're pretty small, and maybe like, I think one's like four feet long, and one's like three feet long or so. But the idea was cut some holes in them, and then put some uh, uh, those LED floodlights right up above those, shining straight down. Um, so the light pours through those cut holes, and then there'll be a bunch of fog back here. And my idea was to sort of have like green or red beams of light shooting through through the fog um, through those holes and I'll just kind of give it more of like a, a somebody built sort of maybe like a covered walkway or path through this weird uh, shipping yard dock area um, to give it a little bit more of an actual structure look instead of just some random trees with stuff in between them <clears throat> and the chicken wire I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with yet I could do something similar and just kind of use it uh, in a few other places as pieces of, you know, a fake, like, uh, covering, like a ceiling, or um, maybe it's like a, a background piece to the very end. I was thinking of maybe doing that. 
you know, just as just more colors and shapes and scenes to kind of catch your eye and, and to <clears throat> to blend in with you know the trees and stuff. Um, wow, damn it! The street light, the street light's fucking going crazy and turning on and off. So now it's all completely pitch dark out here. So that's it. I think this is will be where I end the vlog at three in the morning. Oh wait, it came back on. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to load this shit up and then head home. So that's it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.